Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to look at ice as ammunition. This ice cube came directly out of my freezer. A lot of people are fascinated by using ice as ammo because obviously it doesn't leave any trace. What happens is that it melts and if it's inside of the body, no one can supposedly find any traces from it. Well, let's find out how deadly it is. That's gonna be fun. Not so easy to put it in the pouch. But actually, once it's in, it's not that bad because of the shape. Let's shoot it against the wooden wall first and see how it flies. Not bad. Now we're shooting it against cardboard. If you remember back, the snowballs didn't penetrate the cardboard. That was easy. Now we're trying to shoot a bottle with ice. I don't think it's going to work, but let's test it. No go. The hard glass didn't work. But let's see what happens to ballistic gelatin. <laughs> I think we had a bit of penetration. We can see that the ice cube penetrated, but not very deep, just a bit. I don't think that that is a lethal hit. Now we will try an artificial icicle, a bullet shaped, and uh, we'll shoot it out of a crossbow. Okay, let's do it. Wow! Because of the short distance, my wooden little piece that shifts it also penetrated but see how deep the ice penetrated the gelatin pretty nice ice can be deadly if shot from the right crossbow and also it may not leave a trace although that fat sabot actually i think would have been found by an examiner in this first year <laughs> anyway i hope you like this because that's it for today thanks and bye bye I want to show you my new motorbike. <laughs> I actually bought this because of the engine, which I want to attach to my spiral launcher. But I like it. Maybe I should design a slingshot for it. <laughs> it's really cool and it's a three and a half uh, HP engine in it, two stroke. And I think it's gonna work great in the contraption. It's also a great little motorbike. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>